Hey guys, so I had some people interested in seeing the way I mounted the Pelican case to my WR250X 2008, so I figured it'd be easier just to just make this little video and show um, what I did to get the Pelican case mounted. I put the Pelican case on it for carrying, obviously, like my laptop and camera equipment and stuff while traveling while my panniers have all my camping gear and stuff like that. So I guess I'll start with showing you the aluminum rack that we designed. Um, you can see it's a pretty thick piece of aluminum. I don't remember what size we went with. But we put all kinds of uh, mounting locations and whatnot. You can see I've got like my rock straps mounted to it and uh, everything else. And then the main plate is mounted with these four bolts that see if I can get it on film are connected through and bolted to the bottom of this thick aluminum plate so it's pretty much sandwiched in there and then uh, that overlaps it as well so it's even more reinforced and the way I designed it was so that the pelican case would have um, bolts that would fit through here on all four corners and then slide back and once the case is slid back there's room to put a like a master lock right here so that it can no longer slide forward and uh, then it's locked in there pretty well and then I would strap like my tent or whatever on top of it if I needed to with the rock straps so now I'll show you the pelican case I don't remember what model this is I got off Craigslist a long time ago but um, basic pelican case Home. and uh, you can see I also I'll show you in a second I've got a 12 volt and an SAE power back here and I'll show you how that works in a second so to get the Pelican case mounted to the bike you can see where I put bo the bolts through the Pelican case and use thick rubber grommets to keep the case waterproof you got your double locks so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand I think I'm gonna have to put the camera down So you can see, obviously, the four bolts. You have your wider ones up front and the skinnier in the rear. I just get down like this. I'll give you a better look at the way they look from underneath. So they're rounded. And then they have a little gap space in there. So those go into the slots, like so. And once you're in, you just pull back, just like that. And then that's on there. And then, I don't have the lock right now, but you can see the little gap left here. I would put my lock right through there and click it. And then there's no way for the Pelican case to slide forward to come off the bike again. Um, could somebody probably rip it off with enough time? Sure. but. I didn't build this to be apocalypse proof. It's just for camping and parking lots or whatever while you're traveling around doing your thing. So another thing I added, as you already saw from inside the case, I took the little SAE outlet here from under the seat. And then you have this waterproof plug-in. I got all these things off uh, Amazon, by the way. So you take your SAE and then plug it in there just like that it's pretty tight in there and then while I'm driving or riding or whatever I then have 
this SAE here, plug in, and then I can be charging my uh, camera gear, or my flashlights, or whatever else. And it's all worked out nice. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I hope you found the video helpful. All you need is the uh, aluminum and whatever, the skills to measure it and cut it and all that good stuff.